do you want to do tonight? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. You might think that getting into the IT field is impossible without a computer science degree, but Tech Coach Ralph is here to prove you wrong. Get ready for some jaw-dropping revelations on how to break into this lucrative industry. Listen up, tech enthusiasts! Are you ready to break through into the IT field, but feel like you need a computer science degree to make it happen? Think again! Tech Coach Ralph has some exclusive, mind-blowing secrets to share with you. Get ready to be blown away by his jaw-dropping revelations on how to break into the tech industry without a computer science degree. So get your notepad ready, because Tech Coach Ralph is going to change your life forever. Buckle up, because you're about to embark on a journey to success in the IT field. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Tonight is a simple, going, getting straight to the point. We are going to be continuing working on the website for my good friend, Brunel. We are going to continue configuring the WordPress template as it says in the thumbnail for hffhaiti.org. And um, you just, you know, it's a working session. You follow me along as I continue to make the necessary modifications to get the site working. But before we do that, um, if you haven't done so yet, Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can know every time that we go live, when we do these impromptu um, sessions, and when we have our scheduled shows, all that good stuff. Tomorrow we're going live at 2.15 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to be working on Terraform like we normally do on Sundays. So much happening. Um, we've like It's been so busy. We've been live every single day this week. Um, I've It's been crazy. Like I've been, I was, woke up early, changing some pipes uh, that burst, and then was working with one of my tech barbarians to help them set up their, um, you know, how they're going to promote themselves so they can show that they're putting in the work, they know everything, and then, you know, straight to just, you know, still editing videos. So much stuff going on, but I am here for you. You guys get to follow along with me as I work through WordPress, and if you have any questions about WordPress, about anything about tech in general, about the web, QA, whatever it is, feel free to ask. Don't hesitate, and we can have a conversation. Um, but like I said, tonight's a working session. Uh, I want to say shout out to all of the newest subscribers. We are growing so rapidly and I truly, truly, this is how I feel about it. I appreciate you. Shout out to you guys. All right. And to all the Patreon members, um, you know, it's growing and I'm happy to see you there. Um, and I'm going to keep adding content and, you know, keep trying to add value, whatever you need. Let me know if you need any particular topics, uh, just request it and um, I'll make it for you. Nope, you, you guys have access to me, so I'm here to serve you. So whatever you need, ask and you shall receive. And let's go from there. But, you know, uh, nothing much else to say. This isn't one of our regular shows. Um, I wanted to start at 8.30, but had some things come up. It's been a super long day, but we got to keep putting in the work because um, if you don't work, you don't eat, you know? So let's, let's, let's do it, all right? So, um. I mean, if you see anything looking off, I made some changes and to the software and things things got crazy. So I might have to make the I might have to fix it while we're here, but it is what it is. It's a working session and we're just gonna get to it. No biggie. All right. So uh let's go to our shared screen. 
And right now we are on the HFF Haiti website and we are going to log into it. Check something real quick. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So let me fix this while I'm here. I am going to do that. If I go back over here and I do show timer and I come back over here, timer should still be there. Perfect. All right. Cool. So we're going to go here. We are going to log in. Let's do that. All right. All right, so we are in the site and what I'm gonna do in another tab, I'm gonna pull up how the site actually looks right now. And we will just continue working through it. So when we left off, I do have some questions I need to ask to my friend. So I never sent him the email because I've been so busy. But, you know, we will get the work done regardless. And right, cool. Or if I do that. Hello, hello. All right. We go here. And sounds good. All right, perfect. Uh, try not to make it too loud for you guys. All right, cool. So let's do this. All right. So we have the homepage about us, causes, events, blog, all these pages over here. Whoa. We don't need to donate. We don't need to add the donate here. Um, I'll put 20 minutes on the clock. And, you know, if. Um, it's time to do, 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 do. But I will be addressing whatever is in the chat as they come in and, you know, um, maybe take a break real quick, but we're not going to be wasting any time. Uh, let's see. So let's get, let's take care of this. So we have pages, pricing, team, portfolio. We're going to put... We're going to move pages to be in front of blog and then we're going to add, we're going to change portfolio to gallery so they can show like the different pictures that they do. The difference. Yeah. The difference that they do. Right. So let's go to, let's go edit our menu real quick. So when you edit the menu, go to appearance menus. And remember to like the video and share it. You know, when you when you just come into the stream, it's gonna open on your phone. It's gonna open it up in the chat, like already in the chat view. So just close out the chat for a second and like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and then go open back up the chat and you can interact with me, ask me whatever you want, and I will do my best to answer your question. All right. So inside of WordPress, we are going to take portfolio. We're gonna move it above blog. Now we're going to rename it to gallery. Yeah, we can put like pictures and videos that, um, and I'm going to remove these over here, bulk select. And we're going to do this, this, or what is that? Hmm. Oh, it's not that much. I just got uh, we don't need to do donate now because there's already a donate thing over there. Remove all of these. I wonder what's a mission. Let's go to see what's a mission real quick. That might be a good page to have over there too, to be honest. Mm, I'm gonna put I'm gonna drop mission under about. right there and we have the blog there's nothing about pricing service i don't think there's anything about service team and volunteer might be good but i'm going to put that under about 
And then if we need to, we'll remove it afterwards. Um, actually, volunteer. Volunteer. Some of other causes for... Uh, I'll move it here for now. And then we'll see, because, you know, we'll see. So, okay. Save menu. All right. So now we got that done. So now if we go over here. I want the rest of the pages to look like this, but for some, okay, I want, yeah, so I want the home page to look like that. So, all right, we have about mission team volunteer, which volunteer might go under causes. I don't know yet, but we have gallery blog. All right. So, uh, you can click on about, then you can go to mission team volunteer causes events and then donate. And then have all of these things. Okay, cool. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I think this is, all right, so let's go back in here. And let's do, let's do, go to customize. One thing I was thinking about doing today, right? So, so at work, um, we have this thing where we have, our, we have our stand up in the morning, right? And then um, at the end of the day, we post an update on the stories that we're working on. So like it's, we call it end of day update. So we can let everyone know where we left off, like how far we got if we met our goal for today, for the day. So I'm thinking about, implementing a end of day update where I'll post it in the community comments of like what I got done for the day and, um, you know, give a status update in the, in the community post. I'm still thinking about that. Um, but I think that would be pretty, pretty good. Right. Cause I just want to show like the things that you, that you'll be working, like the things that you do on a day to day basis, like try to try to, you know, do the scrum mindset type of thing, you know? I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Let's see. Page, blog setting, blog banner, or general setting. No, it's not there. Top bar color. Page settings, page banner, all right, so let's, while we're here, let me go and open up, I think I already have it open, but I want to create a, so, so that, I want to create a um, favicon to replace this little image over here. So let's do that, you know, cause take care of whatever we can get taken care of. We're gonna go to that one here, that right there. And there we go, right there. And we want that to be, All right, so what I'm doing, can share with you here. We go to here. So what I'm doing is I am turning this into a favicon. That's the little picture that goes in the top corner. Uh, and I'm using Affinity Photo. It's a Photoshop alternative. It's not free, but um, it's a lot cheaper than, and there's no like monthly subscription. Um, let me see, you can do everything that you can do in Photoshop, but it gets the job done for me. You can do a resize canvas to make it height one, three, four, six. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm resizing it to make it a perfect square. 
and I'm oh, shoot. Uh, okay. One, three, four, six. And it's going to anchor the image in the middle. So we're gonna say resize. All right. And now we're gonna do resize document to 512. And we're going to actually no, we're going to do shoot. Document resize document and we're going to do 72 first and all right perfect so it resizes at 323 that should be perfectly fine we are going to export and we're going to do sorry cool so we can go back to the screen i'm going to export it and i'm going to upload the image let's go here Cool. So now I'm going to change that image and I'm going to drag the I'm going to drag the image from the local folder to Cool. Uh, so I'm just getting the file right now and we're gonna take the favicon file. I'm just gonna drag it in here. And then we're gonna select it. And that's perfect. And we crop the image. And it should show up like this once we just publish it and see. It's already, yeah, it's already showing up here, right? So there we go. So now if we refresh, sometimes it takes a, a few minutes for this to go through the cache, but it might already pop up. Let's see. Yeah, there it goes. Cool. There we go. So we have our favicon done. Um, tagline. So let me get my notion out so that we can take notes about some of the stuff that we need. Uh, let's go here. So this is the stuff I need to email. I still, I haven't gotten this information yet because I did not ask. So we are going to do, uh, is there a tagline for the organization? All right, so we got that done and let's go back. All right, so our menu is okay. So about us, before I do, I, I, do, I still wanna try to get, um, I still wanna try to get the, the way that this appears, I don't see it yet. Um, page settings, navigation, let's see, if we do that, I'm curious to see what happens. Okay, now we want that top bar, but I also want, I want that one, but it's not showing up on the home, on the home page. I don't know why. Oh, wait a second. Oh, no, because even when I turn off the top bar. It's not. All right, let's uh, That's not too big of a deal. All right, uh, I'll figure that part out later. But, okay, so let's keep going. Go on the about us page because there's some about us page menu. I want to see what that is. So we get there. Our team. So we'll have to. All right. So we will need. I think. I think I have them, but we'll confirm. Right. Um. So we'll do. We need pictures of the organizations 
team members titles short bio all right cool uh so we got the maybe we don't need that but whatever um ah this is the about us okay um so on the about us menu we are gonna have we'll leave contact We'll leave all these, but I'm going, I'll leave this too. I'm going to change these two right here. Let's go to menu, about us menu. And I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to remove this one. And I'm going to add, I'm going to add about us. Well, no, well, yeah, I'm going to add about us. And I'm going to add a mission. And we already have causes there. Right, cool. So I am going to then move this to the top and this to here. All right, perfect. So, and I'm going to move events up. All right, this is good. All right, cool. So we are good with that one. Let me all right, so I'll touch my all right, cool. So we got this, we got that. So I need the social media links. And what's in the footer menu? Let's see. Footer is FAQ team contact. We got that contact. Is there anything else we'd need in the footer? It might not even be an FAQ, so we'll leave it like that for now, but um, let me see. Is there a frequently asked questions? And I'm sure we can come up with some. I'd say we leave it and we come up with some questions. It's not a big deal. And what else? So we're, I think we're good with this one. So we're good with the menus for now. Widgets. Should be all right within a place. Let me see. Does all rights reserve have apostrophe? So there's no apostrophe. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. So we are going to go to. that one that's that one one two three four maybe let's see here that's that one where is this other one Ah, okay. So this one is going to be our rights reserved. Publish. So this is. I don't think we did anything, but we'll leave it off and or on. I don't know. Um, number of footer with. Okay, cool. So. Let's get that 
out. Actually, let me do this because we might not need this. We have the symbol, so we probably don't need the word copyright and maybe it'll fit a little better. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's go with that. All right. And now we want to change this. So annoying. I don't know why. Mm, okay. So. All right, so we have favicon. What else do we have? So let's go and oh, let's go and install the plugin for the multi language. So to install that, we're gonna go into appearance install. Plugin. All right, so the plugins actually. And let's update or do that, but whatever. Um, lunch break, lunch break. Let's update these because it's very important to keep your your um plugins updated because by not doing that, you you risk yourself to vulnerabilities, as we've seen on the bug bite, which we air on Fridays at twelve p.m. Eastern time. Um. It was a pretty funny one yesterday with uh, Hunter Biden and Rudy Giuliani um, with the lawsuits and stuff like that over their craziest, their, the crazy stuff that they do. So if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check that out. Um, all right, waiting for this WooCommerce to update. I do not see any questions in the chat, but let me see. All right, WooCommerce is updating. So while it's updating, go to full screen. All right, so um, we are working our way through this website. Um, there is so much information that I need, but we're going to configure as much as we can. And then we're going to send an email to our friend Brunel so he can get that information for us. And then once he does, we'll start plugging it in. Uh, we're just gonna do what we can for now. Um, and we'll configure the form as well. And we'll find out what they're doing about their, um, social media presence, you know, um, trying to do as much as we can so we can put them in a good spot. I don't think we're going to go for too long tonight. Um, cause it's, like I said, it's been a crazy day. I still have a lot of work to do. But I had to get at least a little bit of, of this work done so we can be in a good spot. I don't want to let it um, linger for too long. Put another. Let's go! Let's go! All right, so we put another 20 minutes up on the clock. Uh, we are updating our WooCommerce database. If you're not sure, if you don't know what WooCommerce is, it is one of the shopping cart options that you can use through WordPress. Uh, I know a lot of people like to use Spotify. I'm Spotify, Jesus. 
I know there's a lot of air behind that sound that um sound effect, so I'm gonna fix that sound effect as well. Um, but yeah, look, what I was saying was that um, a lot of people like to use Shopify. Uh, WooCommerce is an alternative that you can use. It's built into. It's built into. Um, it's, I mean, it's not built in, but it's in a, it's a plugin. It's very powerful too that you can um, install it on WordPress, and then um, there's, they even sell like additional plugins for it. So you can really you can have a really really customized site. And um, you have more control over it. it I mean, the, the base version of it is free and you can always like add additional um, plugins to it that you can pay for. But it's not like you're going to be, because um, with, with um, Shopify, I know they make it very easy to use, but they also charge you a monthly fee for that. And then you have to pay for your process, your credit card processing fees and all of that. Um, WooCommerce is a good is a good alternative. Um, for instance, like I have a shopping cart site where I have um, WooCommerce running the the site, and then it's accepting payments through Stripe, um, and then Stripe will like deposit into your account. So you have to pay like Stripe is free for the most part, but you have to pay a a percentage of the sale or something like that. Um, it's a small percentage, but you know it they process the whole payment for you through their API, so it's not a bad deal. Um, you know. And compared to paying thirty dollars a month or however much Shopify charges, plus the plus the processing fees and whatever else they might charge you, um, having a like say you have your hosting and then you have a you have your WordPress site with a custom template that you install like we're doing here. Then you have WooCommerce, you had your products and stuff, and um, you know it's a it's a good option. It's a good option. So I I use like I wouldn't I would I don't think I'd ever sign up for Shopify just because. I know how to do a lot of this work myself. So um, let's see. So yeah, so that's that's how um, that's how I see it. If you know, like I'm able to save so much money doing this stuff because I'm able to figure this stuff out and I don't have to like, I don't need it to make, be made super easy for me. Um, and I'm able to um, do a lot of this stuff and save a lot of money doing it as well, you know? So our right, database com is complete. Let's go to contact. So let's set up our contact form real quick. All right. So there is a form for become a volunteer. Contact form one. Drop us a line. Uh, let's see. So we do need the, so we're going to need the email, but let's do... Let's do this. Parents. I think the email is good for now, but something needs to be updated. Let me see. What is that notification about? Okay, so let's do this. Oh, let's see what this is. Let's get everything up to date. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. So let's do look at the site. Let's see where we're at. So So we have these. 
Let me see what I have on my computer for them. All right, so I'm going to have to go back and find these pictures. It might be expired, though. I might have. I don't know. I have to, okay, we'll worry about that later. So we have homepage about mission team volunteer, causes, events, gallery, blog. Uh, we need the phone number. We need to get the social media created. Uh, causes. So I know we're going to get rid of this. Let's see. What are these? These are blog entries. I think one of them are. Is it? Let me see. Um, I don't know. Let's see what these are. Okay, so they're blog entries. All right, cool. No biggie. Um... Let's see what the donate page does. So you can give 20, 10, custom, and custom. We don't need both of those, but let's say we do donate now. Okay, right. so we'll say it's going to be PayPal. And we go here, please fill out the form. What form? So all right, we'll fix that. All right, cool. We need to update this phone number. This needs to be linkable. Check out the contact us page. All right, so here we can do all of that. I don't know if we're gonna need this. All right, so let's go to the contact us page. Oh, that's not where I wanna go. Let's edit a page. And we're going to go to contact. Mm, that's annoying. Edit with Elementor. Uh, the new WordPress block um, layout is a bit confusing to use, annoying, but we'll use it in Elementor and we will say, well, let's, let's change. Um, so. I don't think we need this one. All right, cool. So we have that and we have Okay, so this we're going to change to info at HBCU. Okay. 
Uh, we're gonna say cop uh, eighty. This picture of this car thing. Let's see. All right, so that's fine for now. Have the email address. So I want to change this though. Uh, we want top ICN eighty. Uh, we want it to be zoomed in. All right, we got that. I think that'll be good right there. And let's go here. I need to edit this form now. So we are good here. And we will do update, update the page. I do want to get this centered though. Let's do horizontal center. Let's see if we do that. So let's take a look at the page. Let's see, though, this should change. There we go. This one did not, I mean, it did, but I wanted it to be like centered a little bit more. I would like the image to be 100% width. Image So if we do 100%, so this is bigger though. I don't want that to be bigger. All right, well, we'll figure that one out later too. Now I'm gonna harp on that one. When we have a little bit more time, we can get into that. All right, so we got this. We have our links down here. We have a recent post, subscribe. Social media, FAQ team, uh, okay, we got that. So, so far, what do we have? So, okay, so we wanna edit this too. So, where would I edit that? Mm. So we exit that. Let's do 
Vai. And we shall do. All right, here we go. So let's say, um, use chat GPT. screen real quick and we're gonna do what are we gonna do we are gonna search for i need a tagline for a foundation in haiti named helping friends Foundation who help mm. All right, cool. Let's see. So, uh, Copy that and we're gonna go to all right. So then we're gonna use we're gonna use this one. Empowering lives, building hope. And we're going to update. So we can as well. We can we're gonna change this picture, but we need to know what's a good picture to use, and we don't want to use any like copyrighted pictures so we're going to maybe we can even take our own pictures you know if somebody's going down there we'll see so we're done with that all right so if we go back here and we refresh this page it should say something like giving hope or something like that yep empowering lives giving hope there we go We should perform at the end. Is there anything else? Let's see. Anything else for tonight? Let's see. Let's go back to WordPress editor. Uh, get out of this. Uh, let me see. Let's just go back here. All right. So now, where are we now? We have. Close it down. We do want to edit these colors too, though. Here, let me see if I was to change this color right here to that. I don't even know how to choose this color actually. Let's say that was like hot pink. It's too dark. Nope. I have to use like a color picker on that one to, to get the right color of the logo. Uh, let's see. Magenta? Yeah, that's closer to it, but we'll, we'll use a color picker. I think we're going to wrap it up for tonight, though. Um, I think we made a good amount of progress. I think what we're going to do next time is... Um, I'm going to send an email to my friend to get these questions answered. And I think next time, if we don't have the questions answered, we'll start changing the color schema on the site. Lunch break, lunch break. We'll start changing the color schema on the site. So like it can start matching the logo better. Um, and I'll see if we have any pictures that we can use for the background as well for like these top parts. But I think, I think we're making progress. Uh, we got the, Got the navigation configured, right? Have so we're, we're gonna change this donate now button to the color of the logo to match. 
think that should be it. All right, cool. All right, so yeah, um, I think I think we're good for tonight. Um, there we got a good bit done. We the main thing that we need is going to be the the copy the copy for the site the content, and um, you know, even if we get the general idea, we can use the we can use the um. use like chat gpt to, to generate the content and then we can also get that content translated into whatever language and go from there um but yeah i think the the next thing is if we don't have the content we're just going to modify these colors right so like this little bracket right here get it to be a different color this button will get it to be like this pinkish color and this bluish color like based on what you when you hover and stuff this is going to be that pink color uh, this right here, let's make sure that it's this color. And yeah, we can go from there. Uh, let me see. And then we're going to, at some point, we're going to sit down and go through this background could probably change, but we're going to go through these sections and get, you know, get clear definition. So I'm going to work on that email. Send that over to him to get those questions answered as soon as possible so we can come back and continue updating update the update the um update the content update the the colors and the pictures as well and we should be well on our way so um maybe maybe i'll do it on maybe like sometime thursday morning it is Thanksgiving, so, um, you know, while things are happening, waiting for the food to be cooked and stuff, we will we'll keep working, try to get this side done as far as possible, and we'll win from there, right? So, that being said, thank you for tuning in. Um, whether you're watching it on replay, whether you watch it live, we really appreciate you being here. Appreciate you following along to see how I work through these WordPress sites. Um, you know, it could be something that you pick up on the side, either create... Like, because you can you can use this right to, uh, you can use WordPress to create your own website whether you're doing like drop shipping or something like that you can save a lot of money by doing that and not having to go through Shopify because if you're going through Shopify if you're going through like one of these drop shipping uh, plugins and stuff like that and then the money that you have to pay to for the credit card processing and all of that uh, you can be looking at easily a hundred dollars a month right but through using WordPress getting your own um, template uh, it's a very low cost to get started and um you know the same things you could do on, on shopify you can learn how to do it through wordpress through the woocommerce plugins and save yourself a lot of money than um paying like a hundred dollars a month right so just wanted to put that out there so many different options of things you can learn i would say definitely look into it um but until but I'm going to get out of here and I'll be back tomorrow at 2.15 p.m. as we go through our regularly scheduled program, going through Terraform, where I think we're going to be doing um, setting up VPCs in AWS through Terraform. So that's going to be some fun. Um, yeah, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can know when we go live, like the video, share the video, all that good stuff. Check out the Patreon. I'm sure that you're going to find it so, so, so um, valuable. You can even sign up for free and go from there. Um, but I'm going to get out of here. Thank you for tuning in. And um, if you have any questions, comments, drop it in the chat or drop it in the comments and I'll make sure I get back to you. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. So you guys have a wonderful night and I truly appreciate you. You might think that getting into the IT field is impossible without a computer science degree. But Tech Coach Ralph is here to prove you wrong. Get ready for some jaw-dropping revelations on how to break into this lucrative industry. Listen up, tech enthusiasts! Are you ready to break through into the IT field, but feel like you need a computer science degree to make it happen? Think again! Tech Coach Ralph has some exclusive, mind-blowing secrets to share with you. Get ready to be blown away by his jaw-dropping revelations on how to break into the tech industry without a computer science degree. So get your notepad ready, because Tech Coach Ralph is going to change your life forever. Buckle up, because you're about to embark on a journey to success in the IT field.